back to day 7 and 8 of November. So if you haven't seen the first 6 days, I have a playlist with all of them there so you guys can go back and watch them. Now in other videos I've talked about how I wanted my style for November to I guess to begin with I didn't really have a style I had in mind I just the pink and over time I kind of stuck with the shading this one I think is where like probably one of my favorites are these two drawings so far um, I really want to work with different types of hairstyle I want to try with different ethnics of women like I really want to do women of color I want to do uh, more like Latina women and black women and Asian women. The reference pictures for these two I did get from Pinterest. You guys already know if you watch my other videos. Um, now when I say reference I use that term very loosely because they don't look exactly like the picture. Um, mainly because these actually don't take as long as an actual portrait should take. Um, when I try to do a portrait it usually takes me a couple hours just to get everything smoothly blended and accurate um, proportion proportion wise but these usually take me about 30 to 40 minutes each which for some people is still a long time especially like beginner artists but for me it's pretty pretty quick uh, just because I'm using like I think three different types of pencils uh, if I'm using just one, it usually takes me slightly shorter, but um, yeah, 30 to 40 minutes each drawing, so it's a bit of a time chunk for me, um, but I'm getting more used to it. I think that the more I'm drawing, the faster and faster I am getting at drawing faces. I just need to learn more about... Um, getting it proportioned to the picture because if one thing is off if I shade one thing wrong it distorts it completely uh, for example if I shade the nose incorrectly it could look like the nose is too thin or it's too wide or it's you know has like more of a ball shaped tip or it has like a crooked tip oh crooked nose that's the one thing I struggle with is making sure that the nose is even but it's really important that when you're shading, you do look at the reference picture and see exactly where are your darks, where are your lights. And also from studying faces in the past, I kind of have an idea of what parts of the face tend to have shading, especially with pictures that are not that good. Like when looking for a reference picture, you want something that has really good lighting. You want something that you can clearly see what parts of the face is dark and what parts are the highlights. If it doesn't have good lighting, then that's when you start getting, you have to start guessing and that's the part where things can go kind of, kind of crazy. But with this first drawing, I really like the way it came out, um, the hair, um, just because I noticed that with the Copic markers, I tend to start with the bottom part and then finish with the top and it's happened already, I think, for day 10. I think I colored in the top of the hair too low and so the forehead is super tiny and obviously it being Copic marker I can't really fix it so I had to just you know finesse it to make it look like I meant for it to be there. You know with Huvember I was looking at other artists and I feel that they you know did their own characters or they did the whole entire drawing with the same color as like the main hue and they use other colors to kind of complement it but I wanted to kind of do just one just the hue of the day color but I didn't know how I was going to do this originally I wanted to do just pen and marker and do layering of the same marker because with Copic markers you can layer them uh, to make some places lighter and some places darker but after ditching you know putting color on their face and just the hair it became a lot easier for me and I just love the way it looks I absolutely love this and obviously at the end of November I will be doing like a sketchbook tour to show you guys all of them just because I feel like the progress from my first one compared to 
right now, uh, as I'm doing this voiceover, it's 10. So comparing my first one to day 10, it looks completely different. And I think that's the cool part. I wanted to do something kind of where I can see my progress. And since I didn't do October, <laughs> this is this is a cool challenge. So I want to see if there is one for December and maybe I can do that one, but maybe not. I don't know. It's the holidays. I haven't really thought that far. For the second one, um, I don't really remember much about the second one other than all the reference pictures are on Pinterest. I've said that so many times. Um, but I do want to start experimenting with different angles. I've noticed that all these drawings are front facing. I want to do some side views, like I want to do uh, tilted heads, three quarters. I really want to branch out there just because I'm so used to doing the profile, like a front view, that I want to start challenging myself, you know, do some heads facing up, facing down, just to make it harder for me to see if I can practice with that. So I think that's everything I have for this video. Uh, if you guys are following Huevember, please go follow me on Instagram, you know, tag me in your pictures. I really want to see what you guys are doing, just because I'm curious to see what everyone else is doing for Huevember. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next Huevember video. Bye!